this is Once Upon a Time 223, and I'm here to talk to you about the mystical, magical world of plants. Okay, so, for anything to be living, it has to respond to stimuli, it has to reproduce, it has to take in resources, and it has to grow and develop. And for plants to grow and develop, well, for plants to do all those things, it has to have solar energy that it turns into chemical energy. We learned about this in school. And here's my booklet. And here is a waffle. Waffle isn't solar energy, but it's a waffle. And then over here, there's a plant jogging. Just so you know, plants don't really jog. Okay, and there are two main types of plants. The first one is vascular plants. And vascular plants are pretty much any plant on Earth, so they're not really that special. And then there is non-vascular plants, which are mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Non-vascular plants are awesome. So, how, so, how do you classify such plants, you ask? Let me tell you. One, non-vascular or vascular and if it's vascular then does it reproduce with a seed or a spore actually non-vascular plants reproduce with seeds with I mean um <laughs> with spores so um and if it reproduces with seeds do are the seeds made in flowers or cones huh and lastly, does, if it reproduces with, well, seeds, does it reproduce, do those, do those seeds have one seed leaf or two? Which is pretty much asking how many food sources does it have in one seed? You could also say how many cotyledons does it have? Vascular plants. Um, there are two types. Here are the characteristics of non-vascular plants. One, they're the largest group of plants. Two, they have true roots, stems, and leaves. Three, they have a tube-like system for transporting food and water. Four, the tube-like system is called the vascular system. The system provides support and moves and moves food and water throughout the plant. Five, some have woody stems, trees, shrubs, and bushes. And six, some have herbaceous stems, weeds, dandelions, tomato plants, etc. So, you see this plant? This plant is an apple tree, but I colored it with blue apples. So yeah, I'm awesome like that. And then over here, there are tulips. Those are just normal tulips. And those are herbaceous, and so is this plant. So, my teacher says, prove to me that the plant below is a vascular plant and would be classified with no, with vascular plants. And then it says, the grass, not the reptile or the weird circle guy. My favorite. So, there they are. Those, that, you see the grass right there? Yeah, and the scared little circle guy. Poor thing. So, I said, the grass is higher than four centimeters, which is true. Um, since non-vascular plants have a sponge-like system for transporting nutrients, they can't grow very high. So, yeah, we'll talk about that later. 
What is the function of a vascular system, you may ask? I said it is a straw-like transportation transportation for water, nutrients, and food. Not, vascular plants have true roots, stems, and leaves. They have a tube-like system for transporting nutrients, water, and fluids. A vascular plant will have either a woody stem or a herbaceous stem. And we went on a scavenger hunt and we found woody and herbaceous stems. You see? Okay. There, over here, right here where I'm pointing, is the woody stem. It's like a stick. And then over here is the herbaceous stem, which is green and it's grass. Like an example would be grass. There are two main types of vascular tissue that make up the vascular system of these plants. Xylem, xylem flies up phloem flows down. Xylem br brings water and minerals up from the root to the rest of the plant. And phloem, phloem flows down. This, it transports food from leaves to the rest of the plant. Now, non-vascular plants. These are the awesome kinds of plants. Okay, non-vascular plants lack a system, a vascular system for transport. They do not have a tube-like system to carry water and food within the plant. They do not have true roots, stems, and leaves. Non-vascular plants get their water and nutrients and pass them along from cell to cell. They don't, they don't grow large because they have no vascular tissue for support. So. Think about a sponge. You have a, a sponge and a cup of water. And you put a tiny corner of the sponge in the water. Think about how, how long, long, long it would take for all of the water from the cup to get from the cup to the whole sponge and make it completely saturated. It would when you think of it that way, it's really no question why it why non-vascular plants can't grow very high. So, the three main types of non-vascular plants are mosses, hornworts, and liverworts. You know the stuff when you climb a tree and it's like all green and stuff? Well, that's moss. It's a non-vascular plant. The word wart comes from the Middle Ages, meaning plant close to the ground. Isn't that neat? Plant riddles. I'm a plant. I make my own food. I have a tube-like system for transport. Do I have true roots, stems, and leaves? And I said yes, because it's vascular. I'm a plant. I'm very small and close to the ground because I have no structure for support. Do I have true roots, stems, and leaves? No. Poor thing. But it's awesome because it's non-vascular. I'm a plant. I'm very small and close to the ground because I get cut all the time by a mower. If you, are al if you allowed me to grow, I could get thick and grow tall. Am I vascular or non-vascular? What kind of plant am I? That one was the tricky one because some people would just stop right after it says low and cr close to the ground. But I kept reading, so I said grass, and it's vascular. I am an organism. I can reproduce, grow and develop, respond to stimuli, and respond to stimuli. I am a heterotroph. Am I a plant? No. Heterotrophs are, are like animals, fungi. You know, they just, they get their food from other organisms. So... They don't make their own food. An autotroph makes their own food. I'm a plant. I have no true roots, stems, and leaves. I, should I be classified as vascular or non-vascular? You should know this by now. It's non-vascular. I have a garden of liverworts and mosses. 
Do I have a garden of non-vascular plants or vascular plants? No. I feel bad for anybody who does have a garden of non-vascular plants, which is what this is. Because if you do, I'm sorry, you're not a very good gardener. So, that is the end of the plant introduction booklet. Now, you probably don't want to listen to me blab on about the other two booklets, but I will show you my model of a flower. This is a petal. You see this with the um, triangles and the pink note cards and stuff? Yeah, that's a petal. That one's pretty easy. And this is a stem. I used a I used a ribbon from, you know, an Aeon roll ribbon. And there's the ovary, which is the baby. The style, which is, which, hold on, brings up food from leaves. And I can't read that. Um. And this is the stigma, which is sticky, so pollen will stick to it, and the pollen can dig a tunnel through the style to the ovary. And that is the female part of the flower. The male part is the anthers, which make the pollen, and the filaments, which, hold on. Where is it? I don't remember where I put that. Anther, I don't remember where the filament is. Oh, the filament just holds up the anthers. It's not very special. But that's the boy part, which is called the stamen, and the girl part is called the pistil. You can remember stamen because men, boy part, you know, men, you get it. Um, and pistil, don't rem I don't know how you remember that, but whatever. Um, that's all I'll tell you about flowers. Maybe I'll do a video about flowers. But thank you.